Hi, I'm Alemi from Yo Botanica. Welcome back. You guys have been putting some fantastic suggestions below and I've been adding them to my list. So now we're starting to go through the list of all of your suggestions. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and let's get started in talking today about chalk. We see spiritual chalk. We don't know what that is. People see it in the Botanica. We're going to talk about the powerful, powerful benefits of spiritual chalks. And we're going to talk about the name in the new world and in the old world. And as a reminder from past videos, the link below will be to our mailing list. So all of you guys who are subscribers, you guys will be the first people to find out about trainings and courses or anything that I do that you may want to participate with. So thanks again for your support and let's talk about chalk. So we have a uh, spiritual or chalk, earth, clay being used in so many different ways. And so the first word chalk really comes from clay, right? In the past it was lime, it was sulf, all different kinds of chalks. Uh, in traditional practices, especially here in the United States, a lot of people know this white chalk that looks like this and it's like kind of dissolves away on your hands. It has no smell. Um, it, it's easy to crumble up. It's actually uh, something that is a staple. So those of you guys who take any of my trainings on spiritual tools, that's your staple spiritual tools, Cascaria is one of them. We call it Cascaria here and it's called Efun, E-F-U-N, in Nigeria. But first, I want to give a little bit, um, a little bit of other kinds of background because this is something I use almost daily, and we could be here for the next two hours me talking about chalk or cascaria. So it is the earth element because it comes from the earth, right? Uh, it's a feminine. It has a feminine vibration even though there's um, some, some polarity of, of balancing between masculine and feminine, but it's more a feminine vibration than it is a masculine. It comes in clay, just, just dirt in general. It comes in a powder, um, comes in a shell, right? So those four main um, ways that you can find it comes in kind of a shell form, powder, clay, dirt. It has an off-white color. If you notice, this one has a slightly off-white color in comparison to this one, right? But it's still in the white conversation and considered to be white medicine. Uh, you can find it in riverbanks in some caves these are the first places that they actually mine this clay right to, to be for effun uh, in africa you can find it in many places like ghana um, the ivory coast cameroon nigeria all over africa you find it and it's used in many different spiritual traditions uh, in the united states you're going to find it in a botanica. That's the number one place that you're going to find Cascaria slash Effun, right? One is old world, one is new world. So I'm going to go back and forth because I want you guys to become very familiar with this term. Botanicas or spiritual stores that sell these kinds of spiritual supplies. And of course, you're going to find Effun in many African uh, markets, right? So I want to just, before I get into the spiritual uses or some of the spiritual uses of uh, Cascaria and Ephon, I want to be clear. There's nothing written that conclusively says when people started using Cascaria and Ephon. As long as people have been praising um, in Africa, this has been used. As long as people have been trying to protect themselves or cover themselves in some way, Ephone has been used. So I just want to be clear about that. 
You're not going to find, oh, it start, they started using it on this day. Why? Because many of these traditions, if not all of these traditions, have been passed down from someone mentoring, someone sharing, word of mouth, and so on, right? So, so this, some spiritual uses of Cascaria and Ephon. One of the first uses is as an offering to the spirit. For whatever reason, it's an offering. It's not a food offering in, uh, per se. In Africa, they weren't burning candles as much as they do here. And they were using oil lamps, so it's a whole different situation. So it was first um, as offerings to the deities. Deities of whiteness, very elevated energies. In the Yoruba faith, it would be Obatala. That is the true, true thing for Obatala, right? He's the Orisha of whiteness. This is an element of whiteness. This is a spiritual tool of whiteness, right? So Obatala Olokun, the Orisha of the low ocean, uh, the bottom of the sea, in addition to Odudua and other very, very elevated energies. You also have in the Bantu system, <clears throat> in the Bantu system for Nzambi, which is God in the heavens and um, God in the heavens and God, God on earth. I don't want to get into that. There's going to be too much information for this video. Um, <clears throat> but in the Bantu system, uh, chalk or clay is used. It has a different name called Mpemba, which we're not going to get into all of that today. But at least you know this clay has different names, but it has a similar purpose no matter what tradition it is. And so it's used for markings, for drawing different kinds of signs, whether it be on the body, on people, places, or things. It is, this chalk is used, again, in all different faiths, including Bantu uh, traditions. It's used for protection. It's used for drawing. It's used for neutralizing, especially those of you guys who have uh, uh, used white baths, spiritual white baths, or batala white baths, and so on. So it's important when you see this to know all ages can use it, children, adults, seniors. It is one of the coolest vibrationally outside of water things that you can use in the spiritual world. It is not in the form that we use it. It is not t meant for ingestion. Can you invest finite amounts? Absolutely. Very little bit? Absolutely. But it is the main intention is not to ingest and not to burn, right? It's used in spiritual baths. It's used for marking. It's used for putting powder, putting on your bed, putting on the baby's bed, all of these different things for peace, for protection, for clarity, for calmness can be put on the head. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You and I could be here for two hours just talking about the wonderful benefits of white chalk, cascaria, efun, right? And um, I want to just give a little sidebar note. In Africa, there is chalk that is from the earth that there's different types of chalk. The one effun that we use uh, in the tradition does not have salt. That has very, very little salt. But there's other clays that you will find that looks just like effun in Africa that women eat and people eat at times because of all the minerals that are in there, copper, uh, calcium, iron. Some pregnant women in Africa will have small amounts of this clay so that it will help with pregnancy and different deficiencies in addition to people taking it in for ailments. So I want to share with you that this idea of clay, one of the reasons why we did not have effun from the beginning in the United States, especially in the West, from the Middle Passage is because our forefathers did not have access to it. So they started using cascaria, grinding up eggshells, and using this as a substitute for this. But we do sell this in the store, Efun from Nigeria, and we also sell cascaria. So I hope that just kind of getting a feel for these things are giving you an idea of how to use another spiritual tool. 
Uh, there may be some videos where I give recipes with using these things. So it gives you a frame of reference, right? But also it is used in the new world, not only in Santeria, Lukumi, Candomblé, Palo by Mayombe, Sanse, 21 Divisions, dot, 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 dot. Almost every diasporic practice here in the new world uses cascaria. Remember I said almost. So those of you guys who are in the traditions that do not use cascaria, I've already said almost, so you don't have to comment below to say, well, we don't use that, right? Because nothing is finite. Nothing is finite in anything as it pertains to spirituality. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys really, really took this one in because Cascari is a staple for all ages. And for there's someone that is watching this video, I do have no idea why I'm drawn to say this, but there's someone who's watching this video that has a small child that is having a hard time sleeping and you can't figure out what's wrong with the child. It could be a rel um, the, the person, the first person I'm speaking to, it is your child. But for the other people who has relatives that may be having this problem, it could even be foster children that you may have in your home that are having a hard time settling down, who may have had some trauma and so on. It is good to put a little bit of cascaria on their bed or on their pillow or in a glass of water by the bed to help to block and to calm the person. So I send this with a lot of love blessings. Remember, give me a thumbs up. Again, hit the bell for notifications. See that link below where you can be on my personal mailing list. See you next time. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.